Hi, everybody. I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. Joining me now is my colleague, Forbes reporter, Kyle Mullins. Kyle, thanks so much for joining me. Always great to be here, Brittany. As hopefully our viewers are aware, your team is compiling the estimated net worths of all the Supreme Court justices. And today we are talking about Justice Neil Gorsuch. So before we get into how much his fortune is worth, can you give us his backstory? Absolutely. So Justice Gorsuch uh, is a Western justice through and through. He loves to talk about how he was, uh, you know, he's the he's the quintessential American West justice. Um, he's the only justice on the court right now who wasn't born in either the Northeast or the South. He was born in Denver, Colorado, son of two lawyers. His mother actually became the EPA administrator under Ronald Reagan uh, in the in the early 80s. And so he moved out to D.C. early on. And this is what we found out as much of his story is going back and forth between the East Coast and the West. Um, while he was in D.C., he went to Georgetown Prep, uh, where he overlapped with uh, Justice Brett Kavanaugh. Uh, it was a couple years apart right there at, at, a, at an elite private school outside of D.C. Um, and then he went to college, law school on the East Coast, um, and you know, the rest is history. <laughs> And so let's talk about that little place, that little sliver of time before history making, being nominated to be on the Supreme Court. Talk about his law career before he was sworn in in 2017. Absolutely. So first of all, he went to Harvard Law, um, where he was classmates with Barack Obama. So that gives you a sense of the you know, age here. Um, he went into, uh, he, he did a little bit of, of further school after law school, did a doctorate in philosophy over at Oxford University in the UK. Um, and that's actually also where he met his uh, wife. Uh, and then he went into private practice. Uh, and he went, in, went into private practice with a DC firm uh, founded by some Harvard Law graduates, um, so really using those East Coast connections. Um, and made partner within a couple of years, was making money hand over fist uh, by the time, you know, you get into the early 2000s uh, and he's under consideration for a judgeship. A theme that you and I, well, actually a theme that your team has found and you and I have talked about is that when you're working private, you're making a lot more money than when you work in the public sector. So I am curious, you said he was making hand over fist. How much was he making in the private sector versus the public sector? I just pulled up the numbers to make sure I had them right. Uh, his last two years when he was in the private sector, he made $1.4 million in 2004 and $1.1 million in 2005 uh, from his from the firm Kellogg Hansen. Compare that to, took a job at a Justice Department for one year in between, and then in uh, when he became a judge, uh, he was making $175,000 a year. So if you're looking at a, you know, a pay cut of 80, 90% there huge steep steep pay cut so now drum roll please how much is justice neil gorsuch worth we're estimating that justice neil gorsuch is worth eight million dollars and his fortune is made up both of real estate and liquid assets so first can you talk about his real estate portfolio for us sure he's got a two and a half million dollar home uh, out in potomac maryland it's a little more rural than some where the other justices live in the in the immediate dc suburbs um two and a half million dollar home no debt on it um 7700 square feet uh it's a beautiful estate um so that is his that is his primary real estate asset and then um he's got you know lots of cash in a uh, combination of different investment accounts and brokerage accounts and such uh and all that adds up to about eight million dollars and can you remind us how much does the Supreme Court justice make in a year? Uh, their salary in 2023 was about $285,000. And so, we not all bad, <laughs> not bad, not bad at all. And we know the other justices have had book deals during their time on the bench. Does Neil Gorsuch have a book deal or had a book deal? What does that look like? Yeah, um, after he joined the bench, uh, he signed a book deal with Penguin Random House, uh, brought in a couple hundred thousand dollars of income from that. Um, that wasn't a, a huge, uh, a huge, you know, maker of his fortune. Um, a lot of his money he made when he was still in private practice before he became a judge, um, or actually some of it was actually deferred compensation from that private practice even after he became a judge. He had one year when he was a judge where he made like two million bucks in one year. Uh, you know, from work that he'd done a couple years before at the at the uh, Kellogg Hanson, the private firm. So, um, yeah, book deal is definitely part of part of the story. But it's been some good recent money for him, but uh, nothing compared to what he was making, you know, two decades ago. 
Like you and I have discussed before, he does have something to look forward to on the horizon in about a decade, and that is that nice fat pension. Can you talk to us about that? What's waiting for him at the other side of 65? So the Supreme Court justices always have extremely valuable, extremely generous uh, pension plans. But the key is they have to meet, they have to be 65 uh, and they have to meet certain uh, conditions about their years of service and their age before they, uh, before they're actually eligible for that pension. So as soon as he turns 65, he's going to be eligible for a pension that will pay him his full Supreme Court salary for the rest of his life. He could step down from the Supreme Court the day he turns 65 and make the same salary as long as he lived. And he's one of the newer justices being sworn in only in 2017. But how does his net worth stack up to the others? Um, he's in the middle of the pack. Uh, so we have Justice Roberts, Chief Justice Roberts, of course, who, uh, who is far and away the wealthiest justice on the court. Um, he's he's worth about twenty five million dollars, I think, is what we had him at. And then on the other side of it, you know, you've got folks like Brett Kavanaugh, um, who I mentioned earlier, went to Georgetown Prep with Neil Gorsuch, uh, came on the court you know, about a year after him, uh, and he's worth about $2 million. So Gorsuch is somewhere in the middle with, with his $8 million, middle to higher end. Kyle Mullins, I appreciate your insights and reporting. Thanks so much for joining me. Thank you, Brittany. Always great.